Hello everyone. So today we are finally going to launch the third and the final part of our placement series. So for those who are meeting me for the first time, let me introduce myself. I am Manshu Agrawal, currently an analog design engineer at Texa Instruments. I have secured all India rank 27 in GATE 2022. So in this course, what we have covered, we have covered the rest of the part that we did not cover in the placement course 2. So basically combining placement course 1, placement course 2 and placement course 3, all your preparation for the domain of analog VLSI that will be completed. Okay. So this course will be helpful for the same companies, those who hire for and low VLSI domain like Texas Instruments, Synopsys, Micron Technology, Intel and Qualcomm and many other companies. So even if you are in third semester and you want to prepare for the placements of analog VLSI domain, you can purchase my placement course. But if you don't have the basic idea about basic electrical science, then I would recommend you to start from basic electrical science, then go to analog electronics part one, then cover this part. Okay. And since I have uh, made all these, all these three courses, so I will certainly uh, I will certainly launch a package as well. Uh, by today or by tomorrow only, I will launch the package. Okay, so you can certainly buy all these three courses in uh, by paying once only. Okay, so for now, let us see the course curriculum of this course. Okay, yeah. So this is our course curriculum. So these topics have been covered already in placement course two, analog electronics part one, placement course two. So these topics have been covered: diode circuit, MOS physics, MOS biasing, MOS amplifiers, CMOS inverter, and BJTs, and some written test and interview questions. Okay. So I hope you have uh, gone through that course. And after going through that course, you need to come to this course. So this is the placement course three. Okay. So if you have the idea about these topics, then only you should come here. Okay. So then we will study. Uh, initially, we will. Uh, so where did we le where did we leave it? We leave it with the current source using PMOS and NMOS. Now we will study cash code current source. Then we will study amplifiers okay cascode code amplifiers then current mirror then frequency response of most circuits then feedback circuits and the topology all kind of topology we will study after that operation amplifiers and the oscillators part okay then we will see uh, 10 to 11 or 9 to 10 questions on written test and some questions on interview okay then we have the question series okay so this is our course curriculum okay so this is this will take you this is 15 hours content okay and i guess it will take you around 32 or not 30 35 i guess yeah around 35 hours it will take you around 35 hours to complete it. Okay, if you make your own notes, it will take you around 35 hours. So let's briefly see the course curriculum. So uh, just I, I just as I told you, the current, first we will study about the cascode configuration, the current source, then the uh, then we will see an interesting method of finding the gain, then the cascode complete amplifier. Okay, so in one hour uh, we study it completely. Okay, then we will study about the current mirrors, and there is some interesting question as well. Okay, some different test question as well, some design question as well is there. Okay. And then we will study about the frequency response, uh, all about the frequency response, how you will find the uh, poles and geo, how you will find the 3db bandwidth, so everything about the frequency response we will study, okay? And we will take different com configuration as well, common source, common gate amplifier, okay? This is a very good, very important topic for written test, right? Then we will study about the differential amplifiers. So why do we need the differential amplifier? How do we generate a differential signal? Then concept of half circuit, concept of uh, virtual ground, uh, everything we will study here, okay? Then we will see a few more, few questions as well of differential amplifiers, okay? Then we will study about the feedback amplifier topology. It's a very, very important and very interesting topic, right? So there are four kinds of topology, voltage, 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 current, uh, current voltage, and current, current. And before that, we will study the effect of negative feedback uh, and what kind of amplifiers are that? What is the input output resistance relation in that? What is the effect of negative feedback? Everything we will study. Then we will move on to the operation amplifier. It's a very vast topic, okay? So then we will study operation amplifier. It is very, very important for written test as well as for interview, okay? One of the most important topic uh, in the field of analog electronics, okay? So we will start from basics, then we will study about the virtual short concept then you will see inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier integrator differentiator and then there will be some of the things that you need to do on your own okay that i have put uh, i will give i have given the sources as well i have uh, tell you the video sources as well from there you can complete those are very easy which is which are uh, the points that are very complex and very very important for the interview that i have uh, uh, that i have taught here just a few few topics two or three topics like cmrr slow rate those are very easy to understand that you need to see from some other sources that i have already mentioned and also given the uh, also told you the sources as well okay so it will it won't take you much time okay so uh, talking about this like uh, uh, what should be the correct time i guess it will take you around four days open will take you around four days or five days at max max okay and rest of the time will take you around 10 10 days okay so in in around 16 to max to max 20 days in max 20 days you can complete it maximum 20 days if you study ded dedicatedly four to five hours that i'm talking about if you study ded dedicatedly four to five hours from zero to advanced you can complete in 20 days okay if you study dedicatedly okay four to five hours you need to study or four hours for 20 days from zero to advanced you can complete everything with questions and everything okay so this is our course curriculum so now you can go to the uh, come you, you can go to the comment box or you can go to the course dis description there you can find the link and there are two other courses as well placement course one and placement course two those are very helpful as well so combining all these three you can 
shortly grab your desirable placements okay so let's meet in the course okay thank you